the sale of Old Master Paintings will take place at Dorotheum in Vienna on the 13th of April. There's a wide selection of almost 400 lots that will be sold in the auction week that will be together with 19th century paintings and works of art. It's a very interesting sale that Dorotheum offers this season with the large numbers of recently rediscovered works of art that have not been seen on the market in some cases since they were painted in the 17th century and have been in the hands of the original owners since that date. Recent rediscoveries of works by Annibale Caracci, his cousin Ludovico Caracci, paintings by Guercino, Lanfranco, Romanelli and Franz Franken make up a selection of paintings that we hope will create interest on the market and arrive at new owners through the function of the auction. Throughout the course of this film, we will, short film, we will discuss paintings in detail and we hope this will be of interest. This painting of an old man is the masterwork of one of the most important painters, Italian painters of the end of the 16th century, Annibale Caracci. And the origin of this painting we may imagine as follows. As follows, Caracci meets this man on the street and he's fascinated of this expressive head, expressive uh, face, and he takes him, invites him into studio. And is in his uh, uh, artistic excitement, in his, his artistic impetus, he grabs spontaneously a page from an old invoice book. On this page he uh, sketches, he paints this uh, enormous expressive and uh, li lively painting, you see. It's the most important, most fascinating picture of the sale. This is a painting of Giovanni Lanfranco representing Angelica and Medoro. It is a subject taken from literature, from a poem of the 16th century. And the clue of this painting is that it was possible to trace back the provenance up to 1680. It is in fact mentioned in an inventory that was uh, uh, the inventory of uh, Pietro Mellini, who was a cardinal in Rome uh, at that time. And uh, the painting measures exactly as it is described in the inventory and the subject as well. Uh, Giovanni Lanfranco uh, was an important painter from Emilia, from Parma, and he moved to Rome where he worked for the most important families, the aristocratic families of Rome. And this work uh, is dating back 1616. And the characteristic of this work is that it is uh, very much uh, depending on the art of Annibale Caracci for the landscape and also it is extremely beautiful as you can see in the details either for the colours and uh, for the capacity of the artist uh, of representing the uh, impetus uh, of the view of the woman towards uh, Medoro. And uh, as it is important, the provenance of this painting and this auction, we will have other works uh, uh, that we were able to trace back the provenance, such as Valerio Castello and the Giovan Francesco Romanelli. After the sensational success of last year's sale in April, we are proud to present another masterwork of Franz Franken the Younger, one of Antwerp's biggest artists in the beginning of the 17th century. This painting depicts a very serene and happy scene. It's called Arcadia or the Golden Age and it's a product of the collaboration of five Antwerp artists beginning with Franz Franken the Younger, together with, with his brother Ambrosius Franken. Both artists painted these figures in the foreground who are celebrating a picnic. The animals were painted by Hans Jordans III, also a member of an important artist dynasty of Antwerp. The still life was executed by Franz Franken II himself. The dancing figures in the middle ground and the shepherds were executed by Alexander Keirings 
and the monumental landscape with the big central tree was executed by Abraham Govarts, who was famous for his nature, for his landscape paintings, especially for his trees. The collaboration of five artists produced a masterwork, one of uh, Antwerp's best paintings of that period. It's a complete other subject than Franz Franken's painting, which we sold last year. This one is a very comfortable subject, a painting which everybody could live with in his own surroundings. Bright colors, beautiful colors, and a very detailed and very rich composition, which makes this painting one of Antwerp's master, masterworks of that period.